So let's just get really honest with each other where I've been. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. Yay! Okay, so let's just get really honest with each other where I've been. So I'm just going to jump right into it because I'm just going to do it. So basically, the last you guys saw me it was September. It is now November, okay? Um, basically, what happened is kids got sick and I was like, I'm going to focus on getting them better because we had a big vacation, a week vacation with his family, Nathan's family. Um, and I was like, I don't want them sick on this vacation. So I took all the precautions. I took them to the doctor and I was like, make sure this isn't anything bad. And they're like, oh, it's fine. There's just some colds going around. It's that time of year. I'm like, okay, great. We get on vacation. It gets bad. And I mean, bad, bad. Um, and I didn't plan on filming on vacation. So I wasn't really whatever. I tried to film a little bit, but because they got so sick, I just, I was really, it was, it was a hard vacation this year. It really was. Um, it was hard. So they got really, really sick. They, they, they had RSV and rhinovirus and then Jackson got croup and what I thought he started getting better. And then we get home from vacation and he gets so much worse. When I didn't think things could get worse, they got so much worse. Um, and I just, it was hard. And so he ended up getting taken, I had to take him to the ER two times over the weekend that we got back after we had gotten back. Um, I took him to the ER twice and they ended up putting him on steroids um, and that helped significantly. Um, so just know that if your kid has RSV and croup and all that, um, that is an option for you. Um, that is an option if you have just hit a wall and nothing is helping your child or, you know, you, you need something to help your child get better. Steroids is an option. Um, of course this day and age, nobody wants to use medicine anymore. It's considered bad, but honestly, I had to turn to medicine because I tried the natural route. I really did. I tried the natural medicines, the oils, the, the humidifier, all of that stuff and nothing was working for my son. So I turned to medicine and I am not sorry for that. So because my son got better. So I believe that God works through doctors. I believe God can work through oils. I believe God can work through whatever he wants to work through for you in that season. And I think that if you are feeling guilty for putting your kid on medicine, like don't do that. Don't do that. If you're in prayer about it, don't do that because God is working through you in that season however he wants to work through you whether that's oils humidifier medicine I don't care as long as your kid's getting better you need to be proud of yourself mom so anyways I think that that was to myself just now because I was one of those people that felt super guilty about medicine um and then I had to like smack myself back into reality and be like no my son is literally like can't breathe at all on his own so we went to steroids for him. Anyways, tangent over, skip to Jackson's better. And then honestly, like the house got better. We all started feeling better. Um, Nathan and I had a minor um, cold or whatever we got with the kids got, but very minor and we were able to take care of it pretty easily. I was very, very grateful to the Lord for that because I didn't, I don't know what I would have done if we would have gotten it just as bad. Um, but anyways, we got all better and then honestly I had no motivation to film at all. I did end up filming a full day like vlog for you guys day in the life and I started editing it. Editing. I started to edit it and it just didn't I never finished it and I never posted it and then two weeks went by and I'm like oh my gosh I haven't posted anything I haven't finished my editing and then it just felt weird to post it two weeks later. So I scrapped it and here we are in November and I'm like, I've got to get back because I do love this platform. I love YouTube. I've, like I told you guys before, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber and I've just, I love it. I truly have a passion for this. And so I hope that you guys can see that in my videos. And I really am sorry that I had stopped for over a month, probably, I think it's two months by now. Um, so I'm sorry for that. And I hope it doesn't happen again. But honestly, 
I don't know what happened. I ended up, I put my kids, my kids first, my family first, and I always want to do that no matter where I am with my YouTube career or hobby or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and I don't regret putting my family first. I just regret not getting back to it when everybody was good. Um, but yeah, really, we've just been hanging out with family. Family's been in town for a while. And so that's just kind of what we've been doing. I have been active over on Instagram, not as much. Um, but I really appreciate the people who have noticed my inactivity. That means a lot to me because you kind of get to a point where you're just like, what's the point? If that makes any sense. Um, and I don't want my, um, uh, my self-worth to rely on social media. I just, I want my presence on social media to just be positive and happy and I don't want my happiness to rely on if I'm getting validation from people on social media, if that makes sense. I just want to do it for the validation of myself and for myself to be able to look back on my family years later and say, wow, I completely forgot that that happened. I'm so glad I filmed that. So I hope all of that makes sense. That is where I've been. Um, and then we went on vacation again with my parents um, this past weekend, um, we went to Missouri and it was seriously so much fun, like so much fun. And I think it's very ironic because Elena, the day we left for vacation, she got sick. Like she started like sniffling and like her nose started running. And I'm like, are you kidding me? But so far by God's grace, that is all that it's been. Jackson seems good still. Um, it's just really hard when you have two kids to keep one healthy and one not because they're all over each other. They wrestle, they love each other. Um, so I've been trying to keep them good. Um, but yeah, and now I'm back and today is just going to be, I wanted to explain all of that to you guys. I hope that that made sense. That is where I've been. Um, so I ran out to the store. Nathan is at home with the kids today. I ran to the store got some or I ran to the coffee shop in town and I got some coffee and now I'm going to be at the store getting groceries for my family and that's what we're doing I'm able to go grocery shopping by myself if you're a mom you understand what that means right it means I'm going to be in there for three hours just kidding but I'm excited to get back I already feel a huge weight lifted off my shoulder because for some reason I felt like I needed to block out time to film a video just on where I've been. And I'm like, no, that's so silly. Like, why can't I just do a day in the life, film it in my car really fast. It took me seven minutes to film it. Um, and then I'll just let it be a part of the vlog. So I, I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself with things like that. So that's where I've been. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. It's just going to be me basically getting my life back together, <laughs> going grocery shopping. I've got a ton of laundry at home um, and things to do. So happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday that I'm filming this. Probably Wednesday when I get it up, but yeah. Oh, one thing I do want to hit really fast is life is about to get crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, Elena turns three on Thursday and I'm very emotional about it. I don't know what happened. I was just fine. I was excited about it. And then all of a sudden I went on Instagram and I was like, basically talking about what I'm talking about right now. And I started tearing up when I said it and I was like, oh, where are those emotions coming from? <laughs> so basically I, um, yeah, I am now all of a sudden very emotional about her turning three. I'm excited about it, but yeah. Um, and she turns three on Thursday and then this weekend we have church meetings. So we're hoping to go to those. Um, and then next weekend we are going to be celebrating her birthday party, a big dinosaur birthday party. She is so excited about it. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And then we have my sister's bridal shower in December and then we have Christmas in December. Or wait, no, Elena's birthday party, then Thanksgiving and then the bridal shower and then Christmas and then Jackson's birthday party birthday is in January and he's going to be one. I'm not even going to allow myself to think about that right now because how? I don't know. But anyways, enjoy today's video guys. <laughs>
So really quick, I wanted to show you guys. We're gonna see if it works. So I let a friend of mine use this humidifier and she put essential oils in it. Well, this humidifier, you're not supposed to put them inside of it, which I have one that like you're not supposed to either, but I've always done it, but it's never left a cast like this before. So we're gonna try to do vinegar and water. So I'm gonna bring you guys along, show you what I do. The, this is the way that I um, disinfect my other humidifier that I have. So we're gonna see if it works for this one. I just basically fill it up with really, really, really hot water. And then I put like however much, like a splash or two of uh, vinegar. Um, you really don't, when you're cleaning with vinegar, you don't have to use a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to get this cast, like this icky cast out of it and see how it goes. Cause it's actually my sister's. I'm just gonna put some vinegar, just whatever vinegar you have on hand. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, hold on, honey. I'm just trying to do something. Okay, so I don't make a mess. I'm actually gonna put it in a measuring cup so I don't make a mess. I'm gonna do a fourth cup. Oh, I feel like that's a lot. I'm just gonna do. Okay, it's a fourth cup. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid back on. And then I'm gonna give it a good shake. Okay, I'm actually gonna add more water because it didn't that cast goes all the way to the top, so I'm gonna add more water. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple hours and see what it does. I will keep y'all updated on that. Um, another thing I like to do is I like to put super, super hot water in the base of it um, and then like an actual splash of vinegar, <laughs> not what I just did. Um, and then I also let that sit as well because in here it gets kind of icky. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So we're gonna do super, super hot water. As hot as you can get it. Get the net on the floor. There we go. And now we let it, now we let it sit. HEB. It's freshly squeezed, and so I wanted you to try it and tell me what you thought about it. I haven't tried it yet. What is it? I am oh. not going to tell you. <laughs> I smell some grapefruit. Will here. you just try it, honey? Tell me what you think. Do you like it? It's not terrible. What do you think it is? I mean, it smells like a little bit of grapefruit, but it does not taste like really grapefruit. Where's that? Wow. Where's that? It's not what I thought it was going to taste what? like. Where's that? Try What is it? It's tangerine juice. Okay. Freshly squeezed at H-E-B. Freshly squeezed? Do you like it? <coughs> it's orange juice. It's, it's tangerine juice. So that's what we're trying. I need more. You need more? Okay, go ahead guys that is it for today's video we are actually literally heading out the door right now 
over to my in-laws house um we are going to just spend the rest of the evening over there um so if you guys are not subscribed make sure you do that um we are going to be posting a lot more frequently we've got a bunch of fun things coming up for the holidays um and i have great ideas coming up for some content so um again thank you all for watching if you are not over following me over on instagram make sure you do that i'm a lot more frequent on there and you're seeing things in real time over on instagram instead of like a couple days later so um yeah i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye